Namaste kings and queens. Thank you for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a presence, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity. Also health and wealth. Before we hop on in, make sure you like up on the video. It truly helps the channel grow, all right? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I see you and thank you for the returning subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Okay, you all are truly a blessing to my channel as we thrive and grow, all right, at our own pace, all right? Very significant here. Um, this is gonna be for the water signs. All right, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Um, this is going to be what are their feelings and emotions towards this connection. All right. Well, let's go ahead and see. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are taking care of yourselves, loving yourselves, and honoring yourselves and those around you. All right. Ashe, Ashe. Okay, two of wands and the knight of swords. First card is out. Two paths, decisions, options, planning. Grass is always greener on the other side. All right, so they're, I am getting an energy of like they are indecisive. All right, they're not um, too sure in regards to their feelings and their emotions. Okay, they could have has some type of big change or opportunity all right they are being pushed to seize the moment as it pertains to you though um they may be communicating with you i feel like for some of you guys um they don't want to make a hasty choice all right they don't want to make a decision all right out of impulse as it pertains to you i feel like you could be Connecting with an air sign or a fire sign here. Holy Spirit, what else? All right. Yeah, we have two maybe cards and a no card. So it's like this person is being prompted to, to take a leap of faith as it pertains to this connection. But I feel like there could be something else kind of holding them back or... There's something that they need to withdraw from before approaching you or making a decision with you. I feel like you're dealing with someone who is very um, spontaneous, all right? They don't really take commitment seriously for some of them, but when it comes to you, I feel like that's where the indecisiveness comes from because they know if they fuck with you, they gotta be coming for real, or okay, or don't come at all, all right, is what I'm hearing here. All right, this person is more of a carefree spirit, and I feel like as it pertains to you, water signs, like if you're gonna be in a relationship or a connection, it needs to be solid, all right? It needs to be exclusive is what I'm hearing. Wow, that shit blew right out. Two, uh, two of wands being clarified by the knight of wands, all right? Yeah, again, being hasty here this person um they normally do make quick decisions and they do make hasty decisions here um i do feel like they have options all right they do have options yeah three of cups here at the bottom of the deck right um so this person is very sexually active with more than just you if you are being sexually active with this person um This, this could definitely be a fire sign. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Yeah, this person needs to work on self first. At least when it pertains to you. They need to work on their uh, promiscuity. They need to work on being a one woman man or a one man, one, uh, one woman man or one man. You know what I mean? They need to work on being able to be in a committed relationship or being a monogamous, monogamous relationship. Now, I feel like this person may be coming to terms 
to where it's like, you know what, that's not the type of lifestyle I want. I want a free spirited lifestyle. I want to be able to date who I want, fuck who I want, be with who I want to be with. Um, for others, they are going to work on this side of them. Like they want to lay that to rest. They want to become a more quality person for you. Okay. They want to, they want to work on themselves first before they commit to you. They don't want to waste your time yeah, the will of fortune to the queen of wands here. Yeah, because I feel like if they decide to move forward with you in this energy, in this promiscuity energy, it's not going to last. And, and if it does stand the test of time, it's just going to be a karmic soulmate. All right. It's going to be a karmic partnership. Um, I don't feel like it's going to bear anything. Like it's not going to bear any fruit, especially when it comes to you. But I feel like you're not going to put up with too much bullshit for long anyway. Yeah. Three of, three of swords. This person is afraid of heartbreak. They've been, they've, they've been hurt before in the past. And this is what, what's catapulted them into this, uh, Casanova lifestyle or just being, you know, carefree in regards to relationships, all right? Um, they want to be in something committed, but I feel like uh, heartbreak and betrayal from their past led them to a deep, dark depression, okay? They were very unhappy at one point, all right? This person could have been dealing with a lot of loss, sorrow, and grief to a past relationship could have been a marriage they could have been connecting with a Taurus or you're a Taurus but I feel like they have a fear of commitment because of their past I feel like this person fell in love at a very young age and they could have dealt with someone who was very young-minded uh but okay so what I'm getting here is that they were in a relationship or a commitment or a marriage at a young age where they were dealing with someone who wasn't on their level at the time as it pertains to commitment, loyalty, and exclusivity. And they were the ones who had, you know, they had morals, they wanted to do things in a traditional manner, but they were taken advantage of. And I feel like this is something that they still hold on to. Um, but I do get that with you, they feel like, you know, they could possibly they can possibly revisit that part of themselves with you being the queen of wands, okay? They they look at you as somebody who is confident, very attractive. You have a magnetic energy, all right? You're very, um, you're very, I'm hearing manifest, manifestive, but you, you kind of get what you want. You say what you mean, okay? Um, yeah, we have the empress that, that flew out here. So yeah, I am getting them feeling like they can move forward towards you, but they know that there's things that they need to change about themselves here or revisit. Okay, some of you guys could, what is this Empress? Like I'm getting pregnancy. Um, they look at you as someone who is very nurturing, creative. Uh, again, they find you very attractive. Here we have the tower and we have the king of pentacles. Yeah, they want to commit to you. But I feel like, um, what is this tower? This person is very mature. They're very grounded. Okay, they live a very successful and wealthy lifestyle. Um, this person knows they have choices, options, pick of the litter. Um, you're someone, you're definitely someone they want to pursue. You're definitely someone that they, they're they they're going to commit to you. They, they definitely are. I feel like um, uh, other people that they met, they just weren't, they weren't, I'm going to have to say it, they weren't good enough to make these necessary changes for, okay? But now they met the water sign. They're like, fuck, that's my empress. That's who I've been waiting for. That's who I've been trying to come across again. Yeah, the world card in the reverse, all right? Lack of success, stagnation, lack of achievement, disappointment, burden, lack of comp uh, completion. So I do feel like this person went through a, a, a season of stagnation. Um, 
I feel like they lost a lot as it pertains to a past relationship. All right. They they've had some tragedy and some trauma in their life here. And I feel like that's something that they need to clean up um, as it pertains to like underbelly or underlining issues okay because on the surface this person is very qualified to be an eligible uh partner all right and they are stable enough to produce or bring a happy family to you um some of you guys could be reuniting with um with a past lover or because I feel like this is somebody you've, you've known before or you've dated before. I feel like the opportunity is coming around again. I feel like this person is going to surprise you with this information. Like they're going to surprise you with a commitment or offer. Um, I feel like you're going to welcome this person in. Empress, the moon card. Could be connecting with the Pisces, a Taurus, Scorpio, intuition, illusion, dreams, vagueness, instability, deception, anxiety, fear, subconscious. Um, yeah, like I said, they they are definitely af not afraid. But yeah, afraid of commitment because they know committing to you is committing for life. And that's just that on that. This person may need to just reveal a lot that has transpired in their past and reveal why they're the way they are right now in this present moment. And I feel like you're going to be the one to kind of ease this person's mind. Like you don't have to stay that way. You don't have to be that way. You're now with someone you can be safe with, with your emotions, with your feelings, with your desires right um i feel like this person may need to see some type of uh counseling or they need to do some healing internal healing as it pertains to what or who broke their spirit in the past i feel like it didn't it didn't fuck with their money but i feel like it fucked with them in a way to where they just they just weren't taking partnerships seriously And I feel like now you're, you're, you're the one. Yeah. Believe in the impossible. This pro this person thought that they were going to be single forever for some. All right. Blue moon, believe in the impossible. And now, okay. They're connecting with someone who like, wow, they're revisiting the thought of being, getting married again. All right. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. Yeah. This person does have a lot that they need to release here all right take time to breathe out all right we have meditate and contemplate yeah this person i'm sorry if you guys can't see that. this person definitely needs some you know they need to meditate i feel like this is what they're going to be doing are they being advised of all right they need to take some time and i feel like they need to prepare themselves for this connection here yeah, we have nothing is yet set in stone. So it's not set in stone yet, but I see this person definitely coming to you, wanting to commit to you. Yeah, a new romantic cycle begins. Yeah. All right. So that's what I have for you, water babies. I hope this helps. Make sure you like up on the video and I'll see y'all next time. I love you. Peace. Ashe.